Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. So in the last video, we have built our virtual property. So if you haven't watched, I'll link the video in the i button in the description so you guys can follow that. And right now we're going to continue where we left in the last video. Okay, so let's come here. And here I'm going to call this MongoDB middleware. Okay, so this is going to be a very important topic. You have to understand that how middleware works. Okay, so we have middleware in Express. We have created custom middleware function. We have used custom npm package as a middleware, but we also have middleware in our Mongoose. Okay, and that's what we're going to talk about it. Okay, and how you can utilize it in your model. So here we have that middleware, and we're going to take this document middleware. Okay, so this is the first. We have a couple of middleware, but the first middleware we're going to talk about the document middleware. We have a uh, query middleware we have the right middleware okay a lot of middleware we have we can see the three examples and the most common use one okay so let's start with the document middleware first and this middleware can only run when at the time of creating or saving the nft okay saving the data okay so we're going to use as a pre-hook and we call save method and it will have this normal function not the error function okay so here we have to add this pre-hook okay so make sure you have to keep in mind so this will run before the data is about to save to our database so this is the pre-hook we have and we're going to console log out this property okay so to check this what we can do here and that's what we can test in the post method okay because there we are creating the document so right now we have this data it's not sufficient if you and replace with this okay so we're going to send the entire document all we have to do is to change this id and change this let's say change this duration week because this will create it automatically and we have to change this id as well okay this id as well so these are the three changes we have to do and we have to change the name because the name should be unique and here you can see we got an error why it's so let's scroll down and okay because of this comma so remove this comma here and now we don't have the error now we can send the request and here we have created that nft okay so we have one more nft in our database and this is the output we got but this is not what we are interested in so let's come back to the code and open up the terminal okay where it's gone and okay where it is so let me scroll all the way down and here you can see we have this data okay so let's do one thing mm, let's save it and come back and try to create one more nft so let's change the name because that is the unique part and simply we're going to change the name here and make the request We'll come back here in the code and here you can see because this keyword is reference to the entire object okay and this is the data we got before it about to save to the database okay so this is our pre-hook middleware okay so we got all these data from this keyword so that's the pre-hook is working working fine this is the middleware working fine and now we have to open a new terminal and and this time we have to install one important package because every single nft will have its url slug we call it slug okay so we're going to create slug with the help of this pre-hook okay so let's install the package we'll say npm i slugify okay s-l-u-g-i-f-y slugify and install the package clear the terminal and let's come back here and now we're going to simply require the slugify package and now we're going to use this package to create our slug the url for this particular data okay and that's what we're going to call here we're going to call this dot slug and we have to use this slugify package and here we're going to call this and this refer to the current document okay we have access to the current document and from there we want to access the name okay so we'll take the name and on the base of the name because that is the unique part of the document okay every single nft will have unique name so we are we are using the name and we are converting the name into a slug okay so let's come here and we're going to simply make it to lowercase okay so that's the general convention normally the url are in the lowercase okay so that's what we have and here we have the access of next because without next we can't able to execute this one okay so let's call this net obviously it's a middleware and here we have to define the slug so let's define it otherwise it will not display so let's define the slug and it's going to be a string so so now whenever we'll create any nft it will have its slug the url for that particular nft so we have name we have nft okay that looks pretty good so things are looking fine now we can come and let's try to create one more nft and this time we have to change the name so let's make this to 
and try to hit the request and here you can see we got the output all the data is looking fine and here is the slug you can see the slug we have dollar to send to okay so finally our pre-hook is working fine the middleware for creating slug you can change this to let's say something this and request and here we got the slug and if you check the database you will have the slug there as well so this is how you can create the url with the help of this pre hook document okay so this is the one hook we have now let's talk about the other hooks and there are multiple hooks are there okay but this pre hook only work at the time of creating the document and saving the document but when you try to update that time it will not work okay so that's the only thing you have to keep in mind let's come down and let's try to check the other middleware so the next middleware we have it's called post middleware okay so the same thing it we have to pass the save function and by the name it suggests so this will run after the data is saved to the database then this middle will run okay again we have access the normal function and this post hook have access to two things one the entire document which is saved to the database and the second keyword okay so you can execute execute the function further so what i can do i can simply console log out the doc and let's call the next function okay now let's come here and let's try to run this pre function okay which will run before the post function will execute and in this we can simply console log out this let's say document will save okay dot 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 we are not doing anything we are just trying to see that which function execute first which middle will execute first okay so that's what we have here now what i can do so let's come back here code and try to create one more entity change the name and head the route so we have successfully created this we got our slug and we can open up the terminal and here you can see so here we have the post hook which gave us all the data and here we have this document will save okay documents will save this is a pre hook so this will always run first whether you first and this will always run okay that's why it's a pre hook and this is the post hook so hope this makes sense if i comment this one and try to create nft obviously nothing will happen and this function will get stuck okay as you can see it got stuck because we have to use that next keyword to execute further so let's bring it back let's create it and here we have that data looking fine let's bring this down all the data we have here okay so this is how you can use this two method i just wanted to show you that you have access to the data so what i can do that's the document middleware i can simply comment this to one okay i just simply want to comment this to one because we don't need this here because i want to show you this that how you can do this post and pre and how it works and that's the only thing i want to cover about the document middleware in mongoose so i hope everything is clear and how you can utilize this document modelware to create certain data okay so in the next video we'll talk about the mongoose query middleware okay so let's move for that